Well, it's a beautiful fall day here in front of the New England Motorcycle Museum. Hell yeah! What's happening, Jeff? Hey, get this thing running, it runs me. It sounds good. Guys, if you're wondering uh, what's up, the other day I did a video and this TS400 was one of the bikes in the shop. And I was like, you know what? We've got 83 bikes waiting to get done. We're going to sell this one as is and let someone else. And a couple of guys piped in on YouTube and they're like, oh, one guy in particular was like, oh, you're selling it because it doesn't, it, you know, if you guys can't fix it, uh, you, know what's wrong it with you know, it. you know, what, you know what's wrong with it. It's not going to run, blah, 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 blah. So I said, you know what? Just to prove this dude wrong, I'm going to have Jeff take it. And uh, we're gonna sell it as is. Jeff, what, what, did it, what did it take to get her running? Well, I cleaned the carburetor, threw a spark plug in it. It had some weird reed valve. This is a piston poured engine, but somebody put a reed block on it. It didn't run right, so I took that off. That's the stock carburetor. It runs really nice now. I did a few adjustments, lubed the cables, and uh, it's a kick-ass bike now. It hauls ass, it takes off like a rocket. You're riding wheelies on it. I was going to sell this as is, and it probably would have sold for, if I had to guess, Somewhere around fifteen hundred, maybe two thousand. Now that two hours worth of labor later, uh, it runs great, and it's probably gonna. Well, we're gonna auction it off, so it's gonna be worth a lot more. So we do this a lot. We'll sell bikes in our as-is auctions, and we just don't have the time to get get to them all. We got we've got you know bikes that are ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollar bikes waiting to get done. This one's a, a you know uh, maybe a third of that. So uh, this is maybe a twenty five, thirty five hundred. If if we restored it, it'd be five grand or so, but. We, we let some of them go for you guys, but thanks to whatever the YouTube uh, off the find is, is handle and tag him in it. But um, I, I told the guy, I said, you know, I'm going to prove him wrong and just show him how easy it is to get it going. Two hours later, just riding wheelies up the street. So stay tuned. I'll show you the other projects we got in the shop. It was an easy one, wasn't it, Jeff? It wasn't bad. We used to, when Jeff ran his shop up in Mass, I would bring him a truckload of bikes every couple of Friday nights. And he'd start Saturday uh, or excuse me, Monday morning at 7 a.m. He'd call me by, by 10. He'd have three or four of them running. So pretty much every time. So uh, we're just, you know, uh, we just lost Mario and uh, uh, in the shop here. And Jeff is actually moving down south and opening a shop down in Florida with us in a couple weeks. So he'll be uh, setting up that up. So we got all kinds of bikes backed up. But uh, sometimes they're real easy like this. And it's very rewarding. You take a bike that wasn't running, clean the carb get her running and it's a game changer so you kind of get a sixth sense on it had good compression and i never checked the spark but uh it was a cd ignition yeah, no points in this one so oh wow it's got nice spark so. what year is this one is this 74 76. five 76 these are great bikes man big board two strokes so yeah it's got some long travel suspension on here for the year uh nice set of shocks on the back we're gonna send this to a detail shop dollar up a little bit and she'll be up for auction in the probably a week or so What's coming down next, Jeff? Yeah, in a couple of hours, I'll have two more done. A ZX6, a 1996 or 95 ZX6 in beautiful condition. And I got a, uh, I believe it's a 69 BSA. That green uh, that green and white one's beautiful, the ZX6? Yeah. That's got no miles on it, too. 2,000 miles or something? Uh, I forget. I think it was four. Something. Four? I know it was low miles for, for an older bike, but, man, yeah. it looked beautiful. So we got a ZX6 and a BSA coming down, so stay tuned. These old two strokes are awesome, man. You got to wonder what's going to happen with, with the uh, four strokes when they're 45 years old. These five valve liquid cooled fuel injected four strokes, are they going to be this easy to resurrect? That's a rhetorical question. You guys know the answer. These are so, such an easy machine to work on. Single cylinder, no valves, no cam chain. <laughs> torque a lot of power that thing's got a lot of power
class of 76. Next up, we got a 68 DT1. That uh, This is one of Junior's favorite models. Uh, you guys in the know, know, and you that don't, this is the first Yamaha in the lineup of steel tank badged model 68. Now, guys, this is kind of a, a, a really amazing anomaly. 3,200 miles, 100% original paint on this thing. Um, and all the lights, everything works beautifully. Jeff went, just went, went through this one. And, hey, shop truck's coming up for sale, so stay tuned. This baby is almost ready for prime time too. I'm working on this trailer on and off for like two years. It's almost ready for the road. Doc just got done doing a major detail on, on this, top to bottom, front to back. We'll be doing the video on this real soon. It's a three cylinder 250. We got a Mako MC250 Mega 2 coming up for sale. And a trio of CR500 starting out with this aluminum frame AF with the pro taper, triple clamps, Hoosier tires. All done up, did a frame up on that. It's the last one Mario did before he left. Um, we've got an 89 CR500, Junior's favorite, and quite a lot of the guys that work here his favorite year for obvious reasons of the blood red frame. Then we've got the Supermoto 500. Can't wait to do the video on this one. We've got a Mako MC440 coming up. This thing's an absolute ripper. Look at the size of the sprocket on this thing, man. Massive. And this is a 1990 CR500, just got a full frame off, frame off powder coated frame new warp nine rims wait do you see this thing up close man check it out brand new rotors calipers rebuilt brand new exhaust the motor's been billy blythe said he had over 20 hours in the polishing the uh, aluminum on this thing including the cylinder just beautiful freshly rebuilt motor waiting for the graphics kit a sweet xl 250 coming down the pike Kyle's making the magic happen. Looks good, man. Yeah, th this one's one of my favorites, I think, honestly. 89, oh, this is 90, right? 1990, yep. Look at the motor on this thing. Angel singing. It's gonna be a ripper. How about a nice classic Husqvarna 250 motocross? This one's coming down the pike. Here's a ninja Jeff was talking about. Four, yeah, 4,000 miles. Nice MX250. Just rode my bike up. I'm a little out of breath. This is a Roller Bear gasoline powered engine starter. didn't start yellow do they nope. their first motocross bikes were orange yes what, what year is this one again 73 71 71 yeah wow this is really early and did you know are you sure Suzuki it's a 71 was the first japanese production motocross first production what motocross bike this is the first production motocross bike yeah. ever ever holy shit 1971 huh yeah, 71. just making the magic happen Hey Jeff, can you wheelie this thing? Uh, I don't know. I'm about to find out. Got a Mako 400 cooking. What's up, Wizard? How you doing? This is your bike's twin right here. What's it? Is mine? That's a twin to mine? Is it 97? Uh, wow, that thing's pretty. This thing is like brand new. You should keep this one for yourself. Is that good? It doesn't look like it's been ridden. This thing is amazing. Wow. 97, yeah. Wow, what a pretty bike. 
Right. Wow, the frame rails are spotless. <laughs> not, not a single thing in there. Nice pro circuit, hangs on it. Wow. Quality uh, hydraulic clutch. I don't remember this one. Uh, we have so many 500s, like 50 of them, so. This, must have been, this, this one must have been tucked away. Hey, it's yeah. still got the original stickers on, on the, the, on the uh, freaking swing arm. Yeah, look at this. Look at the markings on the other side. Dude. Wow. The hey, maybe this would be my next year race bike, man. Look at it. Holy the, moly. I know. No one ever power washed this thing? This thing is perfect. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. Is it Pro Circuit uh, pipe and silencer? No, just, we'll put an F, another FMF on it, but it's got a Pro Circuit silencer. Wow. Yeah. The original tank looks super clean, man. I know. Even the, it's even got the original. Holy shit, look at the radiators, man. There's not, they're not, they're not even, uh, they're usually all, all the fins are always usually bent in. Look at the, uh, wow. The tag. Tag up top. Wow, this thing's fresh. Still got the Honda it tag? Had, it had original grips on it. It had a little rip. It's got the Honda tag. It's even got the, even it's the, got the Kayaba tag on there, too. Hey, did Factory Connection do these forks up? It's got stickers. I don't know. I'm not sure. Wow. But you, you can even see the... Really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's even, a pretty even bike, man. the rubber man. is still good on the throttle. Usually these things have been... You just flicked over God. and ripped, <laughs> uh, ripped off. Jeez. I know. Wow, it's, it's got a hydraulic clutch, too. Just like mine. If we're going to keep it, you keep this one, Dad. This please. is a winner? <laughs> can, we, can we keep it? Come on, can we? Oh, wow. Check it out. It's got the compression release uh, head, too. Yeah, it does. I noticed that. Guys, too, right we, we, when, when AJ Wagoner was here about, I don't know, a couple months ago, we did an inventory. We had 51 big bore 500s here, and I think like uh, 35 of them were CRs, and this is this is one of the nicest ones, man. This, this Factory is, connection to the suspension. This is as nice as the auction bike. I got to, I got to, as this is the same year as the auction bike, right? Yeah, uh, as the um, raffle bike. Raffle bike. Yes, yeah. this, is, this is the same bike uh, as a raffle, raffle bike. bike yeah. I really like this one, man. Super clean. Original wheels and everything. She's a ripper. I mean, Jeff built a race motor <coughs> for this bike right here original for one of his friends. Graphics. Holy shit, those are original? It's up a little bit. My God, it's got um, no time on it. So we'll keep them because. Two Southwick yeah. practice sessions with uh, knee braces, and those things would be all yeah. gone. Nice. J Jimmy, is this the first year TM period? Like the first uh, 71? First year TM. And they've also. Oh, did, they, did, did they make a 125 and 250 in 1971? No, I'm not sure about that. But well, definitely a 400. Definitely yeah. They say the. They, they, didn't they make a, a like an. A factory racer in like 68 or, or I, uh, something tells me it was a twin carb 250 yes. or a twin cylinder 250 yes. yeah uh, I guess uh, uh, from what I've read on it it's the most collectible motocross bike it's ever of all time yeah. yeah yeah this uh this one right here is uh yeah, first is that original it looks like original paint on there too Tank is, yeah wow it's definitely original paint look at that it wore through a little bit right there oh exactly tank Perfect. Um, I, you know, put a new uh, injection oil, led the pump, ran it through. We have nice injection into the uh, intake and the main bearing. Did you ride it yet? I didn't, because my hand's still messed up. Yeah. Uh, Bill, Bill Kelly. I saw somebody ripping it around. Yeah, it was Bill? Yeah. Wow, nice. What do we got here? Lance has got this almost fired up. I, I, he had it started last night for the first time. I guess he said he wanted to uh, uh, do something with the push rods, adjust the push rods or something. It's um, it's never been started before, ever. It was a fresh build. Can you check the push rods? Yep. And we got a beautiful XLCR Cafe Racer, two of my favorite bikes that we have in our entire inventory. I just love these old iron heads. And this is a really cool, it's a 68 iron head XR900 in a 1980 chassis, which gives you the XR750 style or, X or XLCH1000 style. Rear triangulated swing arm shock and frame tube. That's Very cool. Bike. Together. Very cool. This one's a good runner, huh? Yeah, it's cool. Made in Sweden. Yep. These old twin shock huskies are awesome bikes. I mean, it kind of feels like a 78 I also know. When I was riding it, I was like, this really does kind of feel like a 78 LC. Yeah, it's very similar uh, yeah. technology. 
Look at this beautiful little Hodaka Wombat 125. Guy's coming to pick it up today. He's doing a pre-delivery inspection. Let's see what Uncle Bill and Sarah are up to. What's going on, guys? Hey, how are you doing, Ken? Is that a TZ750 hiding behind these flags? <laughs> Hard to hide, isn't it? <laughs> you can hide, but we see you back there. Little four-cylinder liquid-cooled 1000. Yeah, one of 100. Oh, it's a 750? Oh, yeah. I don't know why I said 1000. It's a rocket, though. It says right here, wouldn't you wouldn't be alone in wondering if the TC70 isn't more than is isn't more than can be managed by mortal men. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You mastered it though, didn't you? I didn't master it. I'm a student of it. It didn't kill you. <laughs> You're humble. You're humble. <laughs> what do you got going on in here? Beautiful CR125. Wow, this is the original one. All original. This thing's got original tires on it, guys. If you've been good on, and they're and they're dry rotted, okay, they're a little bit of cracking on them. But um, these are the original date-coated tires, original seat, original plastics, original handlebars. Those are the grips. You just don't find them like this. Well, if you, if you have if you've been uh, nice and not naughty, maybe Santa will put this under the tree for you. Got a nice Montessa Capra VR, beautiful piece. A these are the bikes we're going to be riding in the next week and doing riding demos on this Lightning 650 BSA. That's a beauty. It's Yamaha DT250. A pristine original. This is another original tire, original unrestored Suzuki RM125. And then one of my personal favorite play bikes, the Honda XR250. This is actually nicer than the one that I had that I just sold this summer to build the two XR650s. But man, I'm tempted to bring this one home up to the compound and leave it in the garage for my uh, daily rides up there. Then we've got a few Hulkamaniacs. We got. The nicest KX500 we've ever had in the shop here. This thing's completely trick. Um, it has the 2014 to 2018 factory connection, DLC black coated KX450 forks, hubs, wheels, shocks been done, modern plastics and graphics. That's a real game changer right there. And then we got probably one of the rarest Enduros. I've never even seen one of these, and this is from my era. Uh, it's a Suzuki RS250. Um, very similar to a 79 RM250 in suspension. In fact, they may be the exact same part numbers as are the cases and cylinder, but um, it's set up with a headlight and a taillight. Unlike the PE250 that was similar to the PE, had a very softer Enduro power band and suspension. This was more of a motocross suspension. Uh, with uh, lights on it, Rally Sport 250. And then an MZ. This isn't something you'll see on every street corner either, that's for sure. Look at this thing 250cc two stroke. Robbie Knievel's Leap Over LA 500. That's a permanent addition. Then we got the 2022 CRF 450 Works Edition. Hasn't even been started yet. Uh, stay tuned, this will be getting fired up real soon. Just got it out of the crate.